Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and we're going to look all the way out through Christmas here and look at uh, where some of the best snow is going to be. Let me show you my bullet points here. So out west, a lot of what's going to happen is going to be directed by this Arctic front that's coming south, and it's it's reaching way up into Canada, the northern reaches, and pulling down some of the coldest air in years across the lower 48. Um, so I'll show you how that plays into it. It's going to drag snow from north to south as well and then potentially leave a northwest flow type pattern in its wake. In the northeast, the next storm system, we're on or around 1223. Unfortunately, and it's going to be a large storm, but it's going to be too warm. Uh, the track is just not right. It's going to flush a lot of the big resorts in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine with warm air initially. So we're going to have snow over to rain, which will cut down on totals, and then probably back to snow. But there will be... A couple of days worth of good lake effect snow, 1224, 1225. So, you know, if you have places you'd like to go near the lakes, that's another option. Um, so out west, then I was saying, the, the pattern will probably go to more of a northwest flow. And I'll show you who that benefits um, coming up here in just a couple. But let me just show you what we're dealing with. So this is up in um, Sunshine Banff. A couple of things I want you to note. There was some new snow, but look at the temperatures. 18 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. 18 degrees below. Look at uh, Assiniboine, Mount Assiniboine. That is such a beautiful view, isn't it? Um, 18, 22 degrees below zero. See, this is where the origin of the cold air is coming from. It's going from north to south, and it's going to travel down into the lower 48. So it's cold and Banff sunshine. Look at Whistler. They haven't seen, seen much snow, another maybe an inch. Um, but their air temperature is 10 degrees below zero. Again, just the tip of the iceberg, really. All this is coming south into the lower 48. I just published my blog post for the day, Pattern Through Christmas, ChrisTomer.com. Um, I give you my take, look at the pattern, which is looking really nice on visible right now. But I mark the Arctic front in blue, and then the big low that this Arctic front will start to connect to and pull some moisture in. And that'll be a player down the road. So take a look at that. Um, we'll go into the forecast pattern. Let me just take this full. So this is the jet pattern for 1219. Pretty quiet across most of the uh, the west, except for the northern tier states, Banff, um, Pacific Northwest. That's where the Arctic front is coming south. That's going to be the the driver, or you know, the main feature uh, with the forecast. Um, so that's 1219. Here's 1225, Christmas Day. Um, so new low pressure coming in from the Pacific, but look at the jet pattern. Um, jet reaches all the way up into northern Canada and then comes down through Banff, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, northern Utah, and Colorado. Central and northern mountains of Colorado. So those places are where some of the best new snow will be leading into Christmas with that northwest flow type of pattern sliding down through the northern tier of states into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Um, okay, back to the blog here. Let me just show you timing for all this. So this is the forecast radar and satellite. All right, so there's Monday morning at 6. Here comes the Arctic front coming south. Tuesday at 6 nails the Tetons, the Wasatch on Wednesday. Drops into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Wednesday, Thursday, and then it's gone. Here comes the next low, setting up a northwest flow orientation on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So go on to the blog, take a look at the timing if you want to see that again. Um, we'll go into totals. So this is 1218, all of today through the 20th. Notice where most of the accumulation is. It's up in the Pacific Northwest, um, Washington State, down through Idaho, parts of Montana, especially the Tetons through the 20th northern uh, Utah, and then just a touch in Colorado through the 20th. But the, the numbers will pick up in Colorado here on stage two. So this is stage two. This is the 21st through the 23rd. Um, northwest flow, you can kind of see it on the diagonal. Most of the snows in the Tetons, the Wasatch, and in the central to northern mountains of Colorado. If you're looking for the best skiing leading up to Christmas, I mean, there you go. Tetons, Wasatch, central to northern mountains of Colorado. All right, so the final phase of this is the 24th through the 27th. Um, and at this point, we're bringing in a new low on the 20. Late on the 27th is when you see that snow right there in, in California in the Sierra, that's on the 27th. So it's very late in the period, very late. But all the, uh, the Intermountain West, 
Uh, the Pacific Northwest, Banff, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado benefits again 24, 25, um, and 26. So good stuff. I mean, if you were to look at the totals between the 21st and the 27th in the Tetons, you're looking at about 20 inches, looking at about a foot in the Wasatch, looking at about a foot in the central to northern, well, I can't say that. It's more like uh, 4 to 12, 4 to 12 in the central to northern mountains of Colorado, but still that's going to be very good skiing. Steamboat is way up there, Cameron Pass is high, Vail Pass, Loveland Winter Park, looking good. All right, let's go to the northeast here. So this is all of today through the 26th. What you see here is mainly from that storm on or about the 23rd. Again, starts to snow, goes over to rain, and then goes back to snow. So that's going to, you know, there's a big question mark there as to how much the rain will cut down on the totals right now, 2 to 10 inches, somewhere in there, depending on the resort. Um, but that'll take us through Christmas, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Thanks again. Have a great day.